While modeling in LeapFrog is designed to be done in 3D space, directly from the borehole data, it is frequently useful to review your data and your model in 2D. This can be done using the slicer tool in LeapFrog. In this video, I will demonstrate how to interact with and get the most out of the slicer tool. Prior to creating a new slice in the scene, it's typically best to start by pressing the D key on the keyboard to look straight down on your model. This will result in a vertical slice. Click on the Draw Slicer Line tool in the toolbar. Click and drag a new slice in any orientation you want. Once a slice is active in the scene, there are many options for interacting with it that are controlled in the Shapes list and the Properties panel. The most commonly used slice option is Thick Slice. Other commonly used options are Remove Front and Remove Back. What constitutes front and back depends on which direction you drew your slice. Other options are Align to Camera, which actually moves the slicer plane to align to the current camera view, so use this with caution. Slice East, Slice North, Slice Elevation, Lock Slicer to Camera, and Center Slicer in Scene. More detailed information on the slicer options can be found in the LeapFrog Help. When the slicer is selected in the Shapes list, there are several options available in its Properties panel. The Slice Width indicates the total width for the slice. For example, if the slice width is set to 100, that is 50 units, meters in this case, in front of the slice plane and 50 units behind. If you want to step with no overlap and no missed area, set the slice width and the step size to be the same number. Slicer Dip and Azimuth can also be adjusted here. The Set To dropdown allows you to set the slice to a particular easting, northing, or elevation. Once an option is selected, the value of the easting, northing, or elevation value can be set below. To look directly at the slicer section you have cut, press the L key on the keyboard. To view the other side, press Shift L. The slice plane can be moved by using the keyboard or the mouse. With the keyboard, use the comma and period keys to move forward and backward respectively. Using the comma and the period keys will move the slicer the defined step size. To move with the mouse, hold down the control key on the keyboard and click and drag up and down while holding down the right mouse button. This will move the slicer plane smoothly. When moving in this way, the step size will determine how quickly you advance through the model when you move the mouse up and down. Every object loaded in the scene can be sliced in different ways. You can slice volumes, surfaces, boreholes, points, etc. all separately from one another if you wish. This can be helpful for visualization and for creating movies in LeapFrog. If you click on one of your objects in the Shapes list, there is always a Slice Mode option in the accompanying Properties panel. That determines how the selected object interacts with the slicer. For example, I may decide I want to view my boreholes unsliced. As you can see, when you view volumes in Slice View, they are opaque on the slicer plane, which makes it hard to assess how the volumes relate to the boreholes. For a more useful view, Try the Fill Slicer option. The Transparency Slider is also an option. If I double-click on one of the volumes in the Shapes list, all like objects, the other volumes in this case, will be selected. Now I have the option to untick Fill Slicer in the Properties panel for all of the volumes. The Slicer can also display a fully 2D section of the model if necessary. When you unfill the slicer, you'll notice the bounding triangles of the volume remain and maintain the set slice width, but these can be removed. Click on a volume, or double-click a volume to select all the volumes in the Shapes list, and then click the Show Faces button to display just the 2D outline of the volumes on the slicing plane. Make sure when you exit slice mode, though, to click the Show Faces again so that you will be able to see your volumes in the 3D view. To draw a new slice, 
I used this button in the toolbar. A slice can be toggled on or off by using this other button. When toggling, LeapFrog will remember the last slice displayed.